evolution of sound. Beep, 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 beep. Beep beep, what's up ninjas? Just woke up and I wanted to get this video out for you guys. Now first, we released another free pack which you can find down below that is going to contain these vocals that some of you guys suggested and it's going to contain some of the ones from the, re the revealed sound pack that comes out tomorrow that I'm so excited for. Like a month went into it, me, me and my friend Ralph just went ham on it. We were bouncing back, you know, just samples, picking the best ones out. So pretty much that's what we're going to be talking about today. How to make these type of vocals. Now let me show you which ones I have real fast. So so in the free pack you're going to get stuff like Ahí viene la migra. Diablo. La gente está bien loca. Este es el ritmo de la noche. Groove with me. Jack the Ripper. Ready for combat. This the Kraken. This is the danger zone. Some of them are just my voice pitched down and other of them took a little while to make just because I treated it like if I was doing sounds for a video game. Now, if you guys are ready, let's get started. So I just recorded myself doing these vocal shots. We're going to pick my favorite one out of all of them, but I'm going to let you guys hear them. The first step in making your pre-drop vocal, guys, is going to be to get into it. Get into that mentality. A lot of people are scared to scream into their phone or into their microphone because they're scared that their neighbors might hear them or something like that. So that's the first thing that needs to go out the window when you're recording yourself. Don't even give a fuck. Like, just go with it. As you can see here, I scream. So brace your ears. I'm going to lower this down a bit. Let me hear you when the bass drops. This drop like a motherfucker. Shh, let's go. Shh. Shh. I'm losing you. Shh. Welcome to the death zone. La migra viene. Cuidado. Let's drop this shit. So you can see, I made my voice like, you know, my voice sounds like this right now, right? But if it's say, let's drop this shit. Like I add stuff to my voice and you can see my face gets into it like, 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 la migra viene. Like those are the voices I made when I was making them. So let's go with this one. I actually like this one more. Let's drop like a motherfucker. So what we're going to do is just... Grab this vocal. The first thing that I would do in making it is make sure that it fits our drop. Usually our drop's going to be like, this drop like a motherfucker. You know, you have that kind of mentality going. So you can set it up to however you want first. Now, after that, now it's time to get into it. The first thing I would do to the vocal is add a gate so that whenever the vocal isn't playing, we don't hear that disturbing white noise that is pressing that we can only take off with audacity. Now, we're going to move this down a bit. This drop like a motherfucker. So we just want to move it to this drop like a motherfucker. You can see like it goes away completely. The gate pretty much is not going to let sound below a certain level come out. Okay, that's pretty much it. Um, so we put the gate like that. Very simple. That's the first step. The next thing is to use a processor. I like to use CLA vocals to do my processing on. So we're going to go with CLA vocals again, stereo version. Now, this is where it gets a bit interesting. Okay. From here, you can choose your vocal be in mono or you can choose to make it be in stereo, depending on what kind of effect you want to get. Now, if you want to get a very huge vocal, a, mo a mono vocal isn't going to work out in, in a stereo system. But if you have a mono vocal playing in a mono system, it might work out. However, we're going to go here and we're going to get rid of the reverbs and the delays. So then we're going to have this drop like a motherfucker. The first thing is compression is key. You can see there's a lot of dynamics in my voice. And, and to be honest, compression is mainly going to be used on vocals a lot. As you can see, we have these dynamics where it's like really low to really high. And you can see this is going to make my vocal not sound as powerful as it needs to. So we're going to compress the crap out of it with a wall. This drop like a motherfucker. What this is going to do is if you look at here. This drop like a motherfucker. Let me turn it. Sorry, let's move this here. This drop like a look at Look at the at the waveform here. This drop like a motherfucker. Now look at it without it on. This drop like a motherfucker. There's more dynamics. There's more like little. This drop like a motherfucker. If I were to explain, there's more valleys, but when we put the CLA, it's like the valleys get crushed and everything kind of, it's like, imagine there's a mountain and this is where we are. And like, there's an earthquake for some weird reason, the mountain either gets pushed down to us. So now we're at even planes with the mountain or we get pushed up to the mountain. We're, we're bridging that gap. And think of like the distance between the mountain top to the mountain down below to us to pretty much the volume difference. So here, when I apply this, it's like literally we level each other off. This drop like a motherfucker. There's less valleys, you know, and that's the point of this. We want our voice to always be at the front. We, we want it to not have that much dynamic because then that's going to allow it to sound good. The next thing is we can add some um, high end with this knob here. This drop like a motherfucker. 
you know, now we turn this off. It's dropped like a motherfucker. You can see the huge difference that it makes. Now, here is where you can choose to go mono or stereo. With, with this off, you're instantly in mono because, again, I'm recording via this. This is mono signal. This dropped like a motherfucker. But if I want to make it stereo, I can make it stereo. This dropped like a motherfucker. And, and pretty much in stereo, my vocal is going to be on the side. So pretty much it's good for, like, these type of drops where like your snare bolt is in the center and your uplifters are gone. Um, this creates a more powerful effect. Now, after that, we can apply some delay if you choose to. This drop like a motherfucker. It's going to give it more power, more whiteness. Okay, once we have that, now what we can do is we have the vocal done, but some people might be like, I kind of want to get more crazy with it, Sam World. Okay, well, one of the things we can do is first, we're going to consolidate this so we get rid of that. The next thing is going to be like, let's say we want this to kind of, have some some change to it let's drop like a motherfucker like it goes down in pitch some of the vocals i made for the revealed pack we made them drop down in pitch by let's say 12 and then it happens like so this drop like a motherfucker you know something like that would work now pretty much the the envelopes is going to the to the transposition pretty much here let's think of this getting changed and we can do it via here this know? drop like a motherfucker now you can do that, or you can even do this where it goes. This drop like a motherfucker. This drop like a motherfucker. You know, or let's drop like, and then it goes straight down into like negative twelve. Now let's turn this into complex pro so that it sounds a lot more like cleaner, not so ugh. This drop like a motherfucker. This drop like a motherfucker. So you can see, and then four minutes down. This drop like a. Motherfucker. All right, now what we're going to do here is make it so that it goes down like so. This drop like a motherfucker. And then you go. When you put it in Complex Pro, it sounds so much better than beat mode. So that's another tip I'm going to give you. From here, see, now we have that effect. But let's say for some reason you don't like that. You want something else. The other things we can do is we can apply a vocoder. Now, a vocoder is pretty much one of the cooler things because it synthesizes the voice. And we can do various different ways of noise. We have external, which we can put a synth in if we want and then it will make um it will turn it will add the synth and the voice together to form this kind of synthesized vocal um we can also you know use just standard modulator or pitch tracking if you choose to which is fun as well you can see there i use pitch tracking for a lot of them so we can kind of so you can pick the wavetable here you can pick what frequency you want it in and then here we have the unvoiced just be really careful with it. We can even add depth and the format. So you can see, you can get really cool stuff. And the cool thing about this, guys, is that you can automate a lot of things. Now, I'm not going to give all my secrets away on how I made all the vocals because a lot of them did take a lot of time and a lot of my little techniques. But this is a good way to start in developing your own stuff. Maybe you want to get into sound design in the future for video games or something. This is a way to do it. It all starts somewhere. Now, guys, if you guys want to get the free pre-drop vocals we made, go ahead. Now, the revealed sound pack comes out tomorrow. Um, we're going to have a contest on the Evo group, and I'll probably put it on Semworld, where if you guys comment on the demo, which we will release later today, um, uh, we're going to pick three guys that commented that are going to win the pack for free. So make sure to check out the demo, comment on it. And pretty much the pack, guys, if, for those of you guys asking, it's going to contain, first off, a silent one sound mic with 100 sounds that are all to revealed. We, we have not put any other genre in here so this pack is definitely just for revealed producers you're gonna get the bang for your buck you're pretty much gonna get almost every sound that revealed has on in your disposal the next thing is is that we're gonna have a pre-drop vocals kind of vocal phrase pack that has over a hundred phrases so pretty much we're giving away 20 here um in that pack there's like a like literally more there's more in spanish as well that are more like cura kind of style um which a lot of people ask for and then we have a serum sound bang, which is just 40 sounds. But every sound in there is made to pretty much be used for a drop. What this means is we, we recorded our vocals, obviously, and then we chopped our vocals, harmonize, har harmonized them so that they sound in a key. And then we put them into serum where pretty much we made sounds out of them that are based off vocals, which are very useful for, first off, you know, having this kind of unique sound because a voice is hard to replicate with a synth. Um, and then we have the serum sound. Then we have a sample pack we made, which is just a standard kick hats kind of stuff. We wanted to include it in there um, because a lot of packs are not offering that revealed kind of, 
new style they have where like the the hi hats are really fast. The toms are dun dun. We also um in the sample pack have like a shit ton of midi uh, drop midi rhythms. More of those. We're not gonna give you drop midi drops. Um, we we think the same thing. You shouldn't use the drop midi that way. So we just gave you the rhythm tools. About forty of them. We also gave you um. I think about 30 or 20 melodies midi and then we also gave you snare buildup midis and tom midis about 20 tom midis um but the pack is very small in the sense that it's the 20 kicks but it's 20 of the best kicks we actually made like 50 kicks and we just picked a couple out but anyways guys i'll stop there this video will go on forever i'll see you guys tomorrow for a new video and have fun guys